happy February. Today I'm going to do my January favorites, but this year I'm going to add the preschool favorites for my almost four year old and baby favorites. I have a four month old and almost a four year old. Once Madeline turns six months, he will be four years. So I have all of my favorites next to me, a couple of my kids' favorites. So if you're interested in seeing what we've been loving this past month, then keep watching. So January was full of COVID exposures, cold, sinus infections, ear infections, snow. So we were at home a lot. I had one, okay, out of a whole month of school, Jackson was in school four or five days the entire month. So I definitely have some products in here that are definitely more homey, things that I kind of did to make myself feel comfortable. We didn't go out a whole lot, a lot of sicknesses, stuff like that. So let's just get into it. I do have a lot of beauty care though and some new beauty items to talk to you guys about. So let's start off first with the beauty category. I have two cleansers that I fell in love with this past month. One is from Feel. This is the Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. And I believe I got this in a Fat Fit Fun Box. I just love the scent of this. It kind of has some kind of like exfoliating beads, but the scent smells so good. Definitely a fall winter kind of scent. Um, I probably could have used it more in the fall time, but I just pulled it out and really enjoyed it. This is one from the drugstore. This is the Elf Bounce Back Jelly Cleanser. This smells so good too. I can't even like put like my finger on it. But it's almost like a candy kind of scent. If you've tried this, let me know what you guys think. But this is super hydrating. Both of them are pretty hydrating. I would say this one is more of like a cream cleanser. And this is definitely more like a jelly cleanser. I really have been loving using both of these. This one's been staying in my shower. This one is kind of on my bathroom counter. Really, really have been loving those. And then since we've definitely been going into the drier months and stuff, you guys know history with me with my hands. This winter hasn't been too bad and I've been pretty diligently using my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This stuff is such a lifesaver. Love it for all over your body or just a hand cream itself. I also use the Working Hands Lotion as well. So I really haven't dipped into the prescription one I got from the dermatologist because I've just been kind of using those two. And then I just discovered Aquaphor Lip Repair and I have been obsessed. I've even been putting this on my preschooler and he's been enjoying it over like the other lip balms. But it's just kind of a clear lip balm. I'll put some on here. And I love putting this on before I go to bed or just before I go outside and play outside with my children. It's been snowing a lot. I think literally it snowed three out of the four weekends here in North Carolina, which is insane, but really been liking this. And then another thing that has been like true diehard for me, especially sanity reasons, being stuck at home with the kids like 24 seven for like a month, is my Beats Power Beats headphones. This stuff is amazing. So these just kind of slip onto your ear like so, and that way I can kind of color, do arts and crafts, whatever kind of playtime and still kind of have my podcasts going, music going in my head, just kind of help soothe me that way. I also keep one of these in when I am putting Madeline to sleep. I will rock her to sleep at night and I just kind of have one of these on in a Netflix show and I've been enjoying doing that that way. I have to talk about these fleece leggings. They are from Target. I will put a picture here. I have been loving them. They are so warm, super soft. You can machine wash them been loving them. Also my Amazon leggings, you guys know I talk about them all the time, but when these Amazon leggings and the Target fleece ones are like in the wash, I get so sad. They are just so soft and comfortable, especially for four months postpartum. So I definitely love those. Another thing I have been wearing religiously is my North Face jacket. These are the Denali jackets. I have a pink one and then this black one love love these and they also have this like side breast pocket that i kind of put all my important stuff like wallet keys that kind of stuff so always have this this is actually what i need to wear after this video another thing i wanted to mention is my robe this is from pottery barn super soft very warm they have like the fur lining for the hood and inside the sleeves and it's just so nice warm and cozy it comes in a whole bunch of different colors but pretty much been living in those 
And then the two shoe favorites that I have been wearing. One are my slippers. These are from Amazon. It come in a whole bunch of colors. I've talked about these a lot here on my channel and just have been living in these pretty much. And then these really tall Ugg boots. So these are a little bit bigger than Uggs. Here I have a different pair I'm wearing now. So these are the shorter ones. You can see they're a little bit longer. This has two bows. This has two bows. These are kind of more satin. These are older. I use these more for like rainy days or snow when I'm going outside. But like these are so warm, super soft and highly highly recommend them the other two things i wanted to mention one is a kitchen thing it is our new pots i got this for christmas from my parents I've really been loving them they are this like navy blue color and they just go super well with our kitchen design and then i got an electric scrubber guys this thing is life-changing too big for me to haul in here but i got this there's a whole bunch of different little attachments but i got it to clean the bathroom tile grout so life-changing before i was using like the rubbermaid little it's almost like an electric toothbrush but it's for grout this is a lot bigger but still has like a pointed kind of shape to it that it will get into the grout so definitely a life changer less bending down for your back because it's a big long stick and does a great job cleaning so love that and then the last thing I want to talk about before getting into the kids stuff is what we've been watching on TV or what I've been watching on TV in January. So I watched The Witcher with my husband. I think it was season two that came out. So good. Check that one out. Definitely something you can watch with your husbands. Then I've been getting into The Amazing Race. Still watching that currently. And then The Bachelor. I have gotten into The Bachelor this season, which is so weird for me. I hardly watch The Bachelor or Bachelorette, but I don't know. Something about this season pulled me in so I'm watching that how I met your father that is a good show I loved how I met your mother um, back in the day that was the show me and my husband watched he has just been super busy with work so I've been watching how I met your mother or how I met your father by myself and it's with Hilary Duff so good and then um, Emily in Paris there was a new season on Netflix so highly recommend that one and then my dad introduced me to the discovery of witches it was on Amazon Prime for a limited time in January for free for season one there's a couple other seasons but it has to be on Shutter or I can't remember the other app some other app that I don't have so that was really good season one I wish I could watch the other seasons but I'm not gonna pay for a new streaming service just to watch it. So let's get into my almost four year old's favorites. He got this gigantic Optimus Prime for Christmas and he has been loving it. It comes with all these like different construction vehicles, car kind of things, and it comes apart and you can build up Optimus Prime. So he's been loving that. Another thing that has kind of been a lifesaver, especially winter time, being sick, being stuck at home, are my like things to kind of get his energy out. So we got this climber from Happy Moon for Christmas. He got it from Santa Claus, so he loves that. Also nuggets, but what I highly recommend is the bounce house that we have. I think it's from Little Tykes. That has been such an energy pusher kind of thing. Like he loves it. It's really great so I can get his energy out and he can take naps still so that is nice we use it indoors in our big playroom area so highly recommend that a thing that recently happened is jackson is afraid of the dark now and for a long time we were just turning a lamp on but i found this little book light here from amazon and it just kind of clips onto his bed and it's not as bright as having like a big lamp or his night table lamp on so it has three settings there's this one there's this like orange one and then this one's even brighter so we just kind of keep it on this like light dim setting for him now this does last a couple hours but for the whole night that my son needs it it has a little micro usb right here and you can plug it into the wall which is what we do and that way it stays on all night for him madeline is playing on one of her favorite things I'll talk about here very soon but that's what you hear a little baby girl talking over there another thing that he has been loving is this like dartboard set 
and this is something you can hang up it has these velcro little balls and you can throw it on it so it's a kid version of darts but it's super fun and he has been loving playing with that so for maddie my four month old i can't believe she's four months old these spinner toys i've talked about them multiple times they are throughout my house they're in like her activity table they are in the car they are in my diaper bag they are in the kitchen but they i think it comes in a four pack they just keep her entertainment so much. It's kind of like a small ceiling fan. Ceiling fans with babies are like their favorite things. She also likes spinning them herself now that she is kind of of that age. So highly recommend them. Comes from Amazon. She right now is playing on her piano mat, but she turned the volume off, so you guys didn't hear it on the video. But she's just kind of kicking along, kicking the toys, trying to reach for them right now. This past month, she definitely has gotten a lot more like visual, can see things, want to grab things. So she's been loving that. And this is her favorite toy. I have not found it. I got it from Kohl's like right when I found out she was a girl. So if I could find it, I will. But this is an Eric Carl like little pink ladybug toy. Her favorite toy by far. And it has like a whole bunch of different grip things to it. This is like a little mirror. She just kind of plays with it. However, these kind of do that like crunchy kind of noise to it and she is obsessed this literally is attached to her car seat so we have it at all times I also had the little like not it's not a hatch it's like a portable sound machine for her too all these two always have to be on her car seat I did want to mention the hatch love the hatch for both children uh jackson uses it for bedtime and nap time madeline uses it for bedtime and it's just it's a really great kind of sleeping tool for them so they know when it's bedtime when it's time to wake up things like that so highly recommend the hatch if you have kids even if they're four years old the red light green light system is perfect for quiet time another thing i wanted to mention is this sassy mirror and i got this from amazon too before she was born and she loves it for tummy time or just rolling over play time i definitely need to clean it but she loves it has different things to grab and play with so highly recommend this little mirror her swaddle situation so before we were using these easy zip swaddles um i think they're called from swaddle up I'm not really sure they were disney but she's definitely getting close to rolling she hasn't rolled yet i need to definitely be a little bit more mindful of tummy time with her and floor time she's like constantly on the go and sleeping in car seats things like that so second child life right but um she is now in these zippity here there here's one. Oh. okay so this is called a zippity zippity zip yes a zippity zip so they are kind of like if you saw I think they're called the swaddle ups when they kind of look like gingerbread men or flying squirrel but this is like even bigger flying squirrel so that way if they do roll on their back that they can kind of push up and have the arm strength for it she's looking at it it's not bedtime it's almost nap time yes yeah, almost nap time but um these are perfect for if you have a little one that is kind of transitioning into not having like their arms out yet but still kind of want their arms in if you know what i mean we've also been doing this one i just got this and we've been practicing with this one for nap times if you are starting to like switch from swaddles to like open open arm kind of swaddles definitely practice nap times more than bedtimes it'll just help your sleep this is the disney baby one and these are i got a little cinderella one for her super cute but her arms are out and it's more of like a sleep sack style so this is what eventually they will all go to but the zippity zip is kind of the transition one i only have one of those and then i have a big swaddle up one for her she's mainly in the zippity zip or i put her in a sleep sack for her bed but that is all of our January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked the kind of kid edition to this. I've already had a list going for February, different products and things that we have been loving. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. Let me know what you've been loving this past month down below. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.